For a team that is now back to .500, the list of impressive wins the Lakers have had this year is a surprisingly long one. However, it's going to be hard to top Thursday's victory over the Celtics for the best of the year. Down LeBron James and Anthony Davis, riding a two-game losing streak and matched up against arguably the best team in the NBA, the odds were stacked something fierce against the Lakers. But a total team effort, spearheaded by Austin Reeves, powered the Lakers to a stunning win. Truly, it was one of the most surprising results in a season full of good and bad surprises this season. So, let's grade the win. As always, grades are based on expectations for each player. A B grade represents the average performance for that player. Torian Prince 38 minutes, 11 points, 8 rebounds, 2 assists, 1 steal, 1 block, 5 to 10 FG, 1, 2, 3 PT, minus 9 genuinely. I thought this was one of Prince's better efforts in some time, especially considering it didn't involve him knocking down multiple three-pointers. He competed well offensively and was actually a good offensive weapon in a number of ways that wasn't strictly spot-up shooting. Grade. B plus jarred Vanderbilt 16 minutes, 10 points, 7 rebounds, 2 assists, 3 steals, 3 to 7 FG, 2, 3, 3 PT, 2 to 2 FT, plus 1 7 man. What a gut punch Vando's injury was. He was already on his way to a really great game and the plus 1 7 in 16 minutes really speaks volumes to how good he was. Watching him hobble off the court after yelling in obvious pain was a tough scene. The hope now is that it's just a short-term injury. Grade. A Jackson Hayes 34 minutes, 16 points, 10 rebounds, 2 assists, 3 steals, 6-8 FG, 4-5 FT, plus 3 holy cow what on earth was that performance. After one of the worst games he's played as a Laker, he responds with objectively his best game as a Laker. I'm going to ignore some of his defensive struggles because he made up for it with a ton of energy and effort. You legitimately could not ask for more from him tonight on either end of the floor. Grade. A plus Austin Reeves 35 minutes, 32 points, 2 rebounds, 3 assists, 10 to 18 FG, 7, 1, 0, 3 PT. 5 to 7 FT, plus 1 6. I remember how wild some of you were talking a few weeks ago when Reeves was struggling while D'Angelo Russell was excelling. One game should not sway opinions on a player one way or another, but it's games like this that remind you why it felt like the Lakers got a steal in keeping him this summer. He was red hot all game long and the catalyst. While it was a team effort, Someone was going to have to step up offensively to feel the huge shoes left by LeBron and AD and Reeves answered the bell. A performance that will go down in his Lakers lore no doubt. Grade. A plus D'Angelo Russell 39 minutes, 16 points, 8 rebounds, 14 assists, 2 steals, 5-20 FG, 4-8-3 PT, 2-4 FT plus 4 an odd game for Delo in which it felt like he was always in complete control even if he had some eye-popping shooting numbers. While he was very efficient from range, he was 1-12 on 2-point shots, some wild shooting splits.